Hello everybody, I have a story for you today and it's called It's Ramadan, Curious George. So let's begin. A special month. George can't wait for tomorrow when the month of Ramadan will start. It's a special time of year for his friends and George is going to take part. So here's George with all his friends and they're enjoying their baking. George and Karim are so busy helping to cook and bake sweets with a good little monkey joining in Soon there's a big pile of treats. Kareem is going to try fasting, a day without food or drinks. George is curious. Can Kareem do it? He'll need some help, George thinks. So here's the day of fasting. George is asleep in his bed when Kareem's alarm starts to beep. Kareem wakes for an early meal, though the sun is still fast asleep. Later, when it's lunchtime, Kareem reaches for a piece of bread. Wait, no food until sundown. George keeps him busy instead. What is the sound George is hearing? It's a rumbling from Kareem's tummy. George drags him away from the kitchen. Whatever is cooking smells yummy. So he's keeping him busy. Waiting for sunset. Everyone gathers together as the sun begins to set. The minutes tick by slowly. It still isn't dark enough yet. So they're just waiting to break the fast. Finally, it's time to break the fast. Kareem snacks on a sweet date. Then he takes a big gulp of milk as George loads more treats on his plate. I did it, George! cheers Kareem. And George nods. He's glad to be there. The room is filled with happiness and the peaceful sounds of prayer. They look very happy there, enjoying their dates and all the other lovely treats on the plates. Mm, it's dinner time now. Now it is time to eat dinner. The spread on the table looks great. With something special for everyone, this meal was worth, well worth the wait. Look at all the great choices. Kebabs, curry, veggies and rice. George spots a big pizza and takes a hot cheesy slice. Mm. Now that the meal is over, the best treat has been saved for last. Chocolate dipped bananas to celebrate Kareem's first fast. That sounds very yummy indeed. So, sharing with others. Karim invites George to the mosque. They gather to do a good deed. Together they make food baskets to share with others in need. Wow, look at George join the action. He knows how to lend a hand. And when he spies a shelf full of shoes, George comes up with a plan. No, George, the imam says with a laugh. Those shoes belong to us here. But you gave me a great idea. We'll add a clothes drive next year. Spotting the moon. Ramadan is almost over. The special month will end soon. George and the man search the sky to catch a glimpse of the moon. There it is, George points. He found it. A thin crescent shining bright. Tomorrow is the Eid festival, but the celebration will start tonight. Kareem gives George a gift. New clothes for Eid, he says. It's a fancy vest for George, and for the man, a yellow fez. It's time for Eid. The Eid celebration begins. Happy Eid! The, the holiday is here. The mosque is busy and loud. Everyone is dressed in their finest. What a good looking crowd. George greets Kareem with a hug and spends the day with his friend. After hours of feasting and fun, they are sad Eid has to end. But soon it's time to go home. As the moon returns to the skies, George thinks of his first Ramadan and smiles as he closes his eyes. There's everyone all together having lots of fun.
Here you go. Hope you enjoyed the story. And for those of you who are celebrating Eid next week, have lots of fun, eat healthy, and make sure you stay safe with um, all your family members. And for everyone else, I hope you have a lovely week as well. Take care. Bye-bye.